believers, we want to start off with giving all glory, praise, honor, dominion, and power unto Yahweh, 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 Giving double honors unto our apostles, our elders, our teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so that taught us brothers this truth, this beautiful truth, beginning with the names of our power and of his anointing. Now these are the two most important things you will ever know coming into this truth is the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of his only begotten Son. Now the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah meaning he, how it meaning exists or is or is to be. He is, he exists, he the existing one. And in the name of his only begotten son, a name above every name, given amongst men here on earth, to the Israelite man first, and to the believers to call upon and be saved in these last and troubling times, the name Yahweh Shai. Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shai meaning deliverer and savior. So double honors unto our apostles as it is written. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the house of David. Those willing this is an edifying lesson. We're out here to do what we do best. Prophesy, edify, teach. And without further ado, we're going to get right into it. This is the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 33, verse uh, 10. Ooh. And it reads, And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of the earth. Woo! All men are from the ground, right? Adam was created of the earth. All men come from Adam. We all know this is, is, a, is a fine line. It's a thing that all men know. But yet, they, they're trying to cast out the Bible like hey, Science, the Big Bang, we just came out of nowhere. Where did we come from? All men come from Adam, but there's a particular line of Adam that was chosen to be of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Hey, that is. Hey, what? real quick, for edification's sake, you got those out there that say that Adam means red, which is false. Because in the Hebrew, the word Adam is a, a dumb from the ground. It means from the ground. Ooh. All right, Adam is red. Yeah. That's Esau Edom. Right. Okay, that's why that's why when you have scholarship about yourself, <laughs> you go into the meaning of the word, especially in the Paleo Hebrew, you get the full understanding. All right. Beautiful story, that story. Right. 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 If I may add, uh, that's the error between the uh Paleo Hebrew and the Syrian Hebrew. I saw uh Esau like the middle name for the word. Right. Uh, God damn you can't, can't misspell Edom and uh Adam in Paleo Hebrew. Hey, but, uh, that's how you know he's the devil. Because that's what he did with Eve. He said, particularly what the Lord said, and then he changed it up a little bit. And then the woman was beguiled. That's what he's trying to do. Uh, that's what he did to our people with uh, plantation Christianity. He used the, the truth, which is the scriptures, word of the Heavenly Father, which uh, is his son, and his son is made flesh and dwelt among us. He is the word. He's written in the volume of the book. But then this man manipulated and lied to our people. But now we're here. To give you the truth, the truth of the matter. This is uh 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Esau Edom is that wicked that shall be revealed. Because during the time before the flood, the Lord put a mark on this man, Cain. The Lord destroyed him and all his descendants during the great flood. Then this man's spirit came back to Esau Edom. The Lord put Mark on Esau again and gave him a name to, 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 to point his ass out. Out of one. Red. Go ahead, huh? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The word gonna eat his ass up. Ah, reveal his ass. And then the Lord is gonna do what? And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And the Lord's right. gonna destroy him with his weapon. Because Esau, hey, he that liveth by the sword shall die by it. And he put it into the minds of Esau Smith, his modern day Smiths, which are scientists, to create a weapon for the war the Lord's making to destroy him with his own, own stuff. And then the Lord's gonna come destroy him with a weapon he ain't never seen. It's laser. Yeah. Hey, but that, that uh, precept that the brother brought out is powerful because that's one of many that goes to show you the power and the importance of having the prophets on the scene, Ooh. the true prophet. Hey, I this is specifically mentioned He's going to be destroyed by the spirit of his mouth. Yeah. And the mouthpiece of the Lord is, is his head. Uh, the hey, hey, that's it, bro. I just want to get a quick precept yeah, of that. Jeremiah 5 and 14. You know, just to prove that point. Yeah. You know, precept upon precept. Right? Yeah. Jeremiah 5 and 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, you have my shit, my shy power of hosts. Because ye speak this word, Behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and they shall devour them. That's 
This word is going to devour all that's in its way, man. Now, for us, brothers, the word was thrown at us. We we heard the word, it hurt us, it cut us. But Lord's wound were as gold, silver, precious stones that fire don't destroy us, but purify us. Right, right. The word is only going to purify these different elements. But for a damn wood and hay and stubble, your ass going to get burnt up and destroyed by the word. That's right. And that's what's happening to Esau. You know, he's being devoured by the hey, brothers. Seen that, uh, you know, the multiverse of madness. Satan, man. Hey, the, the horn had the honk on Dog, it had the, the you know. <laughs> madness. That's exactly, they threw the, the, the power of sound fucking destroyed, my man. Uh, my man, uh. Dr. Strange, oh, yeah, yeah. in one of the universes, I ain't gonna give it away, but <laughs> hey, but that's powerful, bro. Like, this, uh, I still like it. Uh, Scarlet Witch, her main power is to pretty much put a hex on people going into words, you know, she's speaking to an existence. Hey, I, that's what these people are trapped in Babylon and shit. Scarlet Witch is fucking Babylon, bro. Yeah. Have them in a fucking vortex of madness. Hey, and in one of the places, fucking green was stopped and red was going. This shit was all bugged and confusion. <laughs> So, hey, you look at that movie, it's real spiritual. The elites is talking to the people, talking to us too, and then they talking to each other in the movie. Yep. So if you really, you know, catch up with the movie, it's, it's letting you know that Babylon ain't got long. This place is all confusion, and they trying to open up portals, different different dimensions, right. and worlds and shit. They collide them here and escape and collide. I got a quick piece though. Go ahead, huh? This Psalms 2 and 4. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Hey, Lord is laughing at you, devil, man. Is that what you Let's send a hand and, and tell you names over here. <laughs> Go ahead, huh? I'm going to start from the top. This Psalms 2. Why do the heathen rage? It, what, what's, what's going on, man? You got my man Harari on the case, right? Trying to say that we can hack people. Uh, you know, the, the, the tyrants of old wanted this, but didn't have the tech. Or, 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 the, or the means, but now we have the means to control people, to know their thoughts, what they think and what they're going to do before they do it. So they, they imagine the main thing, like, well, you can live forever through a brain chip, or we can chip everybody and control them. Or, you know, just madness. Hey, they imagine the main things with that CERN, with that particle collider. They think they're going to open up a black hole and, and send information through it and take out materials from other dimensions to try to fight the elect. Yeah, it's all madness. And the multiverse of madness. <laughs> yeah, madness, bro. That's why they call it madness, man. That nigga Esau is a witch, man. Yes, no, I'm, I'm gonna read down the uh, quote. Yeah. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? So these heathens are imagining a vain thing. Their new world order ain't gonna come to fruition. It's gonna get off the ground. The Lord gonna allow it to rise up. But then the Lord gonna rain fire and brimstone upon these devils when they about to eat. When he is eating, there you go. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. That's exactly what's going on. That's, that's exactly what they've been doing for the last, well, pretty much for the last 50 years, but mainly out in the open, they've been having world summits and shit yeah. like that. Fucking coming together. We got to stop this and global warming and all this shit, and all our people got to come together. And, that's what that's what's going on. They got a, a meeting next week, right? Yeah. Or something like that on the twenty second yep. to determine whether uh America uh loses its sovereignty. So yeah. they already we, they they already, already lost. lost. You know, we know this is all yeah, just they, you know, this is a show. They giving up uh their sovereignty <laughs> to the World Health Organization. Yep. Mm -hmm. And now yep. that that's FEMA. Yep. So they basically don't have the power to declare an emergency on anything and, and, and shut this bitch down. Speaking man. of like, emergencies, I don't know if brother's got that. Got that, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to your local. Yep. You know, yep. that, that, that's all preparing for, you know, yep. Yep. FEMA captain shit. Because as a brother put in the chat, that location where they told people to go has those uh, purple street lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's to, to check people that have, you know, yeah. the juice in them. That's, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's going on in uh, Shanghai is going to happen here, but even mm -hmm. worse. Because these people are more rebellious than yep. those citizens in Shanghai, so it's going to be plenty of uproar. Yep. So, so that, uh, and then also, too, next week, I believe, uh, it's the 17th or 18th, they're having that public meeting about the UFO. Like oh, the, yeah. the first time in 50 years where it's going to be made public, and the stuff they're going to talk about. Now, we all know through the spirit, they're not going to give us the whole truth. And they immediately said after that meeting, they're going to have a, a secret meeting at the Pentagon. Yep. Just the fact that they're bringing it out, those truth, they can't hide. Yep. I mean, damn, 
everybody seen, you know, that, that, uh, that, that, uh, that you all broke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the ISS that shit called, dope. All those, uh, fleets in the heavens. Yep. You know, so it's just going down. Yep. And they gonna have to demonize. That's what they gonna do. Yep. Same thing that fucking Nimrod did when they was building that tower. He, he made it seem like the Lord was evil for flooding the earth, yep. fucking destroying Cain and his descendants for the violence that was in the earth. Like, damn, shit, let's come together and build a tower and shit. May the Lord flood the earth and kill you all. That's what they doing right now with a technological tower. Yep. They're like, come together, there is no God. Shit, there is a God, we, we gonna fight against them. And they're putting it into the minds of these people that if there is a God that comes back, or if there's an entity out there that come and fight us, we're gonna be able to overcome this. That's, that's the power. fuck are they talk. That's what they're talking about, man. Yep. But but that's why they gotta stop us, huh? Cause we're telling the world like there is a power out there and he's coming and he's angry. He's coming with vengeance and he's gonna destroy the wicked. Right. And he's gonna come save his people, the elect of his people. And they instead of flooding it. the earth with water, we're gonna send fire in this place. Yeah. Right. And the only way you're gonna be able to escape if you ain't a high bank of the wheat underground is into the chariots. That's right. The chariot, the father shit. Which that's to their their bank. If they, they think they're actually gonna escape, they're just being preserved from the fire, man. <laughs> yep. Because we're gonna come back down and get their ass, man. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Through. Yep. Go ahead up. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. They're taking counsel together against who? Against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and against his anointed against, saying. Against the Lord, the, the, the heavenly father Yahweh, against his son Yahweh Shai, who, whose earth this is and shit. They trying to fucking take the Lord's inheritance, his earth. Yep. It didn't, it didn't vocab mad at us that we saying that the heathen going to be enslaved, but that's the Lord's inheritance. That's right. No, the, 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 the people. The fake Jews so-called say that calling us uh, 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 Goyim. Yeah. So they believe the same thing, only they're, they're the ones that's going to be the heathen, man. The right. slaves in the kingdom. Go ahead, that's huh? right. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. And that's what they're trying to do. And that's what they're going to do to some of our people because they had that brain chip. Oh, and then they gave them the juice, the juice to take away their faith, call off their line to the Lord, right. their belief or knowing of him or, or inkling of him. And then they're going to take it a step further and put themselves into our people's bodies, which is the temple. Go ahead, huh? He that sitteth in the heavens shall lie. The Lord is like, okay, I know you're going to do that, but I'm going to destroy you anyway. Yep. The two-thirds of my people that are going to take it, they're going to die. I'm going to kill you, E. The, the, the two-thirds you kill in Jacob's trouble, I'm going to hold their blood on your fucking head. I'm going to still get you. You're going to go into slavery. You hate, you heathens, y'all going to go down. The Lord is laughing like this. This is laughing. What is coming to the Lord? Like, okay. But it's funny. The Lord shall have them in derision. Bam! They, every planet, meeting after meeting, like yep. it's getting there, but not according to their timing. The Lord's like, it's gonna get there, and right when it does, boom! I'm gonna come. Yep. So right when they got it, that's when that's when the Lord gonna come. They're clearly trying to wrap up what they're doing because all of a sudden now they have a meeting after meeting after meeting after meeting. And then in June, they got another fair rate hike meeting that they gonna have. So th this place is clearly, or something big is clearly about to happen, you know? It Otherwise, they in derision. That's why they having all these means and shit. Cause yeah. they got shit to, to, to iron out. That they gotta accomplish. Cut. And the time is running out. You know, yep. Satan is like. <laughs> <laughs> Then he shall speak unto them in his wrath. Oh, that's how the Lord gonna speak. Like, like they, they want the Lord to come to court. They trying to sue him for Sodom and Gomorrah. The, 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 the women fucking screaming at the Lord about abortion. The motherfuckers is, is out there singing and shit. <laughs> Thank God for abortion. Like, so, all right, the Lord's like, okay, everybody wanna talk to me, wanna speak to me. Okay, the Lord gonna come back and speak. How is the Lord gonna talk to these people? Because once the, the prophets are gone, how is the Lord going to speak? How are you going to rebuke them? Lake with flames yeah. of fire. Yeah. Go ahead, Ark. And vex them in his sore displeasure. Oh, fuck them up, man. He's going to send plague after plague. And then the ultimate is going to be those lasers and right. the missiles. Yeah, I, back, back, to, back in the rock. Back in the one back down. Back in Ecclesiastes chapter 33, uh, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it reads, there shall no evil happen unto him 
that fear is Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh you ain't got nothing to worry about. These plagues, these evils, this bad times, they just gonna turn into trouble. Is for the wicked of our people. All these bad things are for the ungodly, the wicked, Esau. They have uh, uh, something to be afraid of. They should be very afraid because the Lord is coming for them, man. He has a number. So they said, the Lord gonna pay them a visit. You know? I got a quick one. Right on. Okay. <laughs> a little bit more. Uh -huh. It says, uh, but in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. Hey, our temptation is coming. And even in that, will the Lord deliver. Right. Said that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. Who cool. was yeah. saying six troubles each other? Ooh. And in yeah. the seventh, yeah. shall no evil touch me. And that yeah. seventh is the missile. That's right. right. Noise and pestilence. Yeah. This is Proverbs 1 and 33. Mm -hmm. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Woo! Doing us safely, man. Right. Shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Like you're gonna be good. You're gonna be living, living fat, so to speak. Because these preppers are dying off. They get assassinated. But it tells you that in Job the 27th chapter that they may prepare it, but the justice gonna put it on. So whatever they got, that's for the elect. Yes, right. We ain't gotta do nothing. Yep. Just, but like, just believe. So like the uh, the deliverance out of ancient Egypt, we left with those Egyptian spoils. That was for us. <laughs> you. So in this modern Egypt, we gonna have spoils as well. Hey, on a higher level. Even during those plagues, we were kept from those. That just hit the Egyptians. Yeah. Ooh. Just the, the people of Israel were in the midst of. It. You know, it's gonna be the same now. We're gonna be in the midst of all these people catching all these plagues and being gunned down, soft targets and shit. Bodies <laughs> in the street. You know, no food, no water. The man. elect are gonna be covered, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, I should, uh, jump down to ten. Jumping uh, down to uh, verse ten in Sirach the thirty-third chapter, it reads, "And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of the earth." Go ahead, I should. It says, uh, "And all men are from the ground, yep. and Adam was created of the earth." Mm -hmm. And much knowledge the Lord had divided them. Whoa, there it is, the division. The Lord divided. Damn. We all Adam, too. But the Lord divided the Adam place. Yeah, like, and that's what's coming. The white horse. And he got niggas talking, who's on the white horse? I, is it just some random angel, like, like raising his hand? Like, I mean, not a, the one on the white horse is Yahweh shot. And those in heaven all on white horses gonna follow Yahweh Shai into this realm, man. Realm versus realm. Like the video the Elder Barak and the brothers did. And made a whole side destroy these niggas, man. That's right, man. Because the Lord's chariots is gonna make a greater sound than this. That's right. right. The fucking lasers come on and start zapping people, man. Go ahead, I see. It says, uh, in much knowledge, the Lord had divided them mm. and made their ways diverse. Hey, different. We had the sons of the wicked, the sons of man, the sons of God. That was the three divisions of men during that time before the flood. Noah was found among the sons of God. And he had survived the flood. Cain and his descendants died. The sons of men was killed off. And even the sons of God died. Saved Noah and his family. And those animals commissioned to be on the ark. Some of them had he blessed and exalted. And some of them had he sanctified. Yeah, it's going in circles, man. Yeah. It says uh, from the top, verse 12, some of them had he blessed and exalted, and some of them had he sanctified and sent near himself. Now, who's that? The Israelites. Now, during the time of Adam, it was just sons of God. That was their title in the earth. Son. And then they slept with the you know, daughters of men, or the sons of men, and that's when great men was in the earth. Men of renown. Warriors. You know? Yeah. But some of them had he cursed and brought low. It came and his descendants. But then they died during the flood. And who came back in that same spirit? Esau, Edom. He is cursed above all cattle. But yet he has the earth in his possession. As it tells you in Job 9 and 24, and the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. Given. That's the main thing. Given. That's right. He didn't just take it, it was given to him. Go ahead. I, 
and turned out of their places. Oh, the Lord turned Esau out of his place. He made him become a beast man. Huh? He was the beast man during the Middle Ages. The ages huh? Right? And then he was in Mount Seir. Just, you know, the Lord gave him that. But he, he fought for it, warred against the Horites, and took that, that land. That is his homeland, homeland. That's his inheritance, Mount Seir. But yeah, Esau is everywhere but Mount Seir. Yep. Go ahead, huh? 